Welcome back. I'm going to try this video one more time, but this time with the microphone working. Hopefully you can hear my voice. All right. Have you ever had one of those games where you kept making mistakes, but you noticed them right as soon as you it was too late to change it? That's kind of what happened in this game. And Stockfish says it was my worst rapid game ever, even when I was much lower rated. My average send upon loss, according to Lee Chess, was 295. Let's see if we can find out why. Okay, I opened with d4, which is fine. Knight to f3, knight to f6, and c4. This is all perfectly fine. My opponent now plays in an accuracy. Now, I've seen this before, but usually it's before these two moves have been played. And in those cases, uh, knight to e5 is best because it directly threatens the undefended bishop. But in this case, the, the bishop is defended, um, and there are other moves on the board. So uh, let's turn on Stockfish and... Okay, it says knight to e5 still isn't a bad move here, uh, threatening a bishop trade. But my best move is what I played, which is taking this pawn. Uh, that's one of the reasons uh, for playing the c4 pawn in the first place is to... Uh, to challenge black's opposition in the center. And so I did that. And my opponent played a second inaccuracy, which was taking with the queen instead of the knight, leaving me with a pretty significant advantage because I can develop another piece with tempo, which means I've developed another piece and they have to run away when I then get another chance to make another move. So they run away, but not to a great square. Here I have a fork, which I did not see. Um, it's not great because, again, the bishop is defended by the knight and, in this case, by the queen, especially if the queen just slides forward or slides back. But even if I don't take the bishop, my knight's on a pretty decent square in the center. I mean, from there, it hits all of these squares and is protected by the pawn, so not too bad. And I could trade it for the bishop if I wanted to because it's not pinned because I haven't moved this e-pawn yet. So, but then I moved the e-pawn. <laughs> that was one of my ideas for taking their d-pawn in the first place, uh, was so that there would be nothing guarding this square. One of the problems, I think, with this, even though it was my second best move, is that it's only defended by this knight. So when they move their e-pawn and bring this bishop out, pinning the knight, then that e-pawn's not guarded anymore, which is what they proceeded to do. And uh, here I decided to break the, uh, the pin on my queen so I could move my queen if I needed to. That turned out to not be great, my second mistake in a row. They put the bishop there and I made my third mistake in a row, which was that. What I should have done here was either ask this bishop the question or castled. But I did that thinking that if they took, I would take, and either way I'm threatening this pawn. If they don't take, they're going to have to run away because their bishop is not protected. I suppose they could protect it with the A pawn. But uh, what they're supposed to do here is develop a piece. Develop the knight to c6, which guards this bishop and pre uh, prepares to castle where both rooks would, would see each other. But instead they took, which was a mistake on their part, and I took back. My opponent plays I think the first blunder of the game which is taking that pawn now that was the whole reason they took the knight was to remove the defender of the e pawn but again their best move was to get this out of the way because it looks like I'm coming down here but they took the e pawn okay the reason it's a blunder is because I still have this fork right and now the knight isn't there guarding the bishop anymore and now this pawn's in the way, so the queen can't guard the bishop anymore. This time it's a genuine fork, and when they move the queen out of danger, I'm going to win the bishop. But I didn't see it again, and I took the pawn down there, which is my second best move. Still have a pretty decent advantage. I thought they might uh, play queen to d5, which guards the rook. It's protected by this. Um... That also guards the knight, because if you can see, I mean, right now the knight and the rook are in danger. And that does turn out to be their best move. And I wasn't sure if they did play that, whether I would go for the queen trade um, or slide back here or just bring the queen back and make them trade on my terms. Um, 
But what they did was that instead. And that fully awakened me to the fact that they had they had been guarding this square from there, but they're not there anymore. They moved here. Well, now I can't take the rook or the knight. I could trade queens. What I did not see at all was my best move. My queen is guarding that square, and I would have... Look at that. I would have won the queen outright. It would have had to take in the bishop. I would have taken the queen for a bishop. I didn't see that, but I did see that they had not... Uh, we're no longer guarding the c8 square, so I, I checked. Well, that's bad. And as soon as I moved it, I realized when they get out of check, I'll win the rook, but I've left this pawn unguarded. They moved out, and I didn't know if it was my best move or not, but yeah, apparently here it it is my best move to take that rook. Or I can check here. Honestly didn't see that check at that moment, but I did see the rook. I've got to do something with my queen at this point. So I took the rook, and they did see that. Okay. Well, here my best move is to block that check with my knight, which I did. And it looks like their best move is to win my rook, but it's not. <laughs> their best move here is to take this knight. They took the rook. Okay. Well, I castled, which is my only good move here. I have a huge advantage, but only if I castle. To be honest, I'm not sure why that's such a great move, but my reasoning for it was this bishop's not protected right now, and they so they could win it for free. Also, I thought, I now I saw this check. I wanted to check, but the bishop is pinned to the king. So if I castle, now the bishop is protected. They can't take it. And now it's not pinned, so I can check here. Okay, again, my opponent is supposed to take this. They're, they're way behind, but their best moves are these two. Well, they didn't play those. They took this. And here I have... I have a few good moves that maintain the advantage. My best one is to take the knight, and I don't understand exactly why. In hindsight, I think I probably would have taken this bishop, but that's not listed as one of my best moves because the my bishop's not protected by anything and their bishop's not protected by anything. But what I did was, I want, as I said, I wanted to make this check uh, once the bishop wasn't pinned anymore. Well, it's not pinned anymore, so I checked. Uh, inaccurate, they blocked the check, and now again I'm supposed to take this knight I don't know why that's so much better than taking the bishop, but I my bishop's not protected. And I thought if, I mean, even if I'd consider taking the knight, which I didn't, I thought they would take back and then their bishop is protected. Mine still isn't. So I took the bishop first. That turns out to not be great because they can take my knight now, which they did. And now my bishop's hanging again. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm supposed to uh, put my rook on d1. That way, if they take my bishop, I get their knight. Oh, also, if they take my bishop, they're not guarding this pawn anymore. I didn't see that. Okay, yeah, if they take the bishop, I have the check. Okay, well, what I saw was that if I took this pawn and they took back, I would get this pawn with check. So I did that. And then I realized their queen is guarding that pawn too. So I can't take it. So my queen's still trapped in the corner. Believe it or not, Stockfish is now saying my best move in this position is to give up my other bishop for a pawn. Um, because if they took it, then I could get out here, apparently. But I had just given up a bishop for a pawn. I wasn't. I didn't even consider giving up the other bishop for a pawn. But now I saw rook d1. That was a great move earlier, but now that's a blunder. Um, the reason it's a blunder is because they can check me here and win the rook for a knight. If they check me, if I move out of jack, well, that's checkmate. If... If I take the knight back, they win the rook for free with check, and I have to escape this way, and uh, I'm in trouble, right? But they didn't see they didn't see this check, and I don't know what they did see, but they made a really interesting move, which was that. 
Now, we were not in time trouble, so I do not understand that move at all. It doesn't get the, the queen out of this pen. It, eh, what does it do? It unguarded that pawn. I saw that, so I took it. Check. They have to run away. And now, only way to maintain my big advantage is to bring the queen over here. Which, I guess, hits that knight. It protects the bishop. Uh, prepares for me to capture the knight. Because the queen and the king are lined up on the same file. But I didn't do that. I checked again over here. They moved out of check. And now, again, my best move. Oh, no, it's it's saying maybe e3, maybe f4. Any of those are fine. But where I am is not good. And I, ha and I have a slight disadvantage at this point. But what I did see was I can put more pressure on that pinned piece. So I did, and that's bad. Apparently it's bad because they can play knight to e4. Which, on the face of it, didn't look great because I can win their queen. If they take mine, then I can get run away with my rook. But... The thing is, they're a piece ahead, right? They have two minor pieces to my one, and we both have a queen and a rook. So if they go there, and I take their queen, and they take my queen, I won't take back, because then I would lose my rook. So I'd run away with the rook, they would run away with their knight, and then we would have the queens off the board, and they'd be up a whole minor piece. But they didn't see that. Guess what they saw that they didn't see earlier? But now that my queen is here, they saw knight to f3. That's a blunder on their part. And then, I almost, I almost lost the game right here. I almost just moved out of check, in which case they would have had checkmate. If I took with the pawn, they would get my rook for free. I would have to hide my king up here and we would continue. But then I realized, I can take with the queen, force a queen trade, and they've lost their minor piece advantage. That was their whole advantage, was having an extra minor piece. And just as I was about to take it, my opponent resigned. So the only thing I can think of is, the, is they were gam they were betting on this and, and then realized when I took the knight, my queen would be guarding the rook. So they're still ahead, though. They didn't. I guess they didn't realize that and uh, and resigned without waiting to see what I would do. But even if I had taken the knight and we had made this queen trade, I would have damaged my pawn structure. They could have finally freed their rook, uh, moving this knight one way or the other, and uh, they would have still had a slight advantage. They have two passed, well, they have one passed pawn. This one's not passed because of these two would be able to, uh, to control that file. But they have a passed pawn and I don't. We both have a rook and a minor piece. Uh, who knows? Could have been anybody's game. But yeah, so it says it's my worst game ever. And again, I saw most of those mistakes right after I made them. <laughs> so thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.